give the floor to the distinguished representative of India for three minutes, please. Madam Vice President, I have been compelled to take the floor to exercise India's right of reply in response to the mendacious statement delivered by Pakistan under this agenda. It is very unfortunate, however not unexpected, from the deep state of Pakistan, which is continuing incessant abuse of its membership of this August Council for propagating an illegal, immoral, and inhuman territorial ambition. As a responsible member of this Council, India would like to remind Pakistan that agenda under discussion is VDPA. Instead of squandering the opportunity for a self-serving propaganda, following is what Pakistan should be more focused on. Part 2, Para 25 of the VDPA calls for ways and means to promote and protect effectively the rights of persons belonging to all minorities. Hi however, what we are witnessing in Pakistan is unabated torture, maiming and systematic persecution of religious minorities. The attacks on a Hindu funeral procession and a Christian church a couple of days ago in Sindh and Punjab provinces respectively portray the horrific plight of various minorities in Pakistan. This epicenter of global terrorism very irresponsibly harps on the self-determination of the already democratic Jammu and Kashmir, but very conveniently ignores that VDPA very explicitly states that the principle of self-determination must not be used as a garb to promote activities detrimental to the territorial integrity and political unity of member states in violation of the UN Charter. Charter. I would ask Pakistani delegation to properly understand Part 1, Para 17 of the VGPA on terrorism before pretending to be a promoter of human rights while most grisly of the human rights violators that is terrorists breathe under its nose. I would once again invoke VDPA to ask Pakistan to abjure its territorial ambition which is grossly violative of all human rights. Instead, they should practice tolerance towards their minorities and good neighborliness towards us so that the South Asian region sees eternal peace, the absence of which can mostly be attributed to the Pakistani deep state. Madam Vice President, as the biggest victim of cross-border terrorism emanating from this pernicious cradle of terrorism, we would like to inform this Council that Pakistan is a country whose former President and Prime Ministers, including the incumbent one, have openly acknowledged the support and interoperational linkages between their state machinery and the UN-proscribed terrorist organizations. Madam Vice President, Jammu and Kashmir has been, is, and will continue to be an integral part of India, and Pakistan should cease to covet it. I thank you, Madam Vice President.